What's up, ladies and gentlemen, it's Ryan here, and today we're going to talk about how building an app for the Vision Pro is very similar to building a React app. You got to have a Mac if you want to build apps for Vision Pro, and you have to install this program called Xcode, which is the code editor for all Apple software, right? So once you've done that, you start a basic project and it looks something like this. So I've pasted in this image URL, which we're going to use a little bit later, but the rest of this is just standard code. So the programming language is Swift. The framework is called Swift UI, and let's go ahead and jump into this. Right now, it's just rendering some text. It says, hello. And what we have here is a view called Awesome View. Pretty much a view is the equivalent of a component in React. I'm gonna do async image URL from string and then I'm gonna add my image URL. And boom, now it loaded up a really cool image. So I wanna have access to the image view. So what I'm gonna do is create this callback function. It's gonna be phase in if let image equals phase image then just go ahead and return the image. Cool. And this phase object, uh, basically it allows you to get the image and if there's an error, you can get the error. And if there's no image or error, then you can add a placeholder. So this gives you a lot more control over the life cycle of that image. But we're just gonna show the image and then we're gonna say dot resizable. And this is gonna actually scale it up properly. So cool, this is the image for Dune 2. So one thing we'll notice here is that if we scale the image, it's not maintaining the aspect ratio. So we're gonna do scale to fill, and that's gonna basically make it maintain its aspect ratio, no matter how we scale the parent. And next up, we're gonna add some text. So what I'm gonna do is actually wrap this in what's called a Z stack, and then add some text and we're gonna make it say Dune 2. And now you can see it's tiny, so let's make that a little bigger. We're gonna say font system size 100. Cool, now we've got a poster for Dune 2. We've got the text there, and it's kind of a boring two-dimensional flat sort of view. So to add a little more depth to it, we're gonna say dot offset Z and then 50, or maybe 100 actually. And now we can see that the text is actually pulled out in front of that view, that image. So this gives it more depth. This is what separates Vision Pro apps from iOS and iPad apps. We can view things in 3D with depth. And what I'm gonna do is just add a frame to this, let's say with a width of 600 and a height of 400. And then we're gonna add a corner radius with 30. Sweet, now it's looking pretty cool. So this demonstrates how insanely fast and easy it is to build uh, a UI with this Swift UI framework. So right now this is a Z stack, but we could also make it an H stack, which would stack it horizontally. We could also make it a V stack, which would stack it vertically. But we want it to be a Z stack, which stacks it on top of each other along the Z axis. So now let's talk about state. So we have this thing, we can look at it. Okay, cool, but we wanna be able to interact with it, right? We're gonna add some state. What I'm gonna do is make it so that when we click this image, it's gonna increment the number. So it's gonna say Dune 2, we click it, Dune 3, Dune 4, Dune 5. Every time we click it, it's gonna increment. Why? Because we want more Dune movies to come out. And so this is the first step to that, right? We're gonna say state var num of type int equals two. And then here we're gonna interpolate to add the number to that string. And then down here, we're gonna say dot on tap gesture num plus equals one. So notice there's no set state or anything like that. You just define the state variable. You can get that variable from anywhere you want, and then you can set the variable from anywhere you want. And now the moment of truth, when we click this, it increments. Sweet. Why? Because we want to have 21 Dune films, right? We don't want them to stop making Dune films. So one really cool thing about this framework is it has something called with animation. And it's just this thing you can sort of wrap around your state changes to make those state changes really smooth and fluid. So now when we click it, it transitions smoothly to the next step. So that's pretty cool too. So now we just have our image here. And what we wanna do is add a tab navigation system. So it's pretty easy to do. I'm just gonna go here, do tab view. And now I have my image inside the tab view. So we can see here on the side, it added a tab, but it doesn't know how to render it. So we need to say 
dot tab item. We're going to do label. It's going to be called home. And then the image is going to be house. And so now on the left, we have this tab here. It's just one tab. And what's cool about this tab view, every child of the tab view is essentially another tab. So we can say text, I'll say settings page is what that's going to say. Then I'm going to copy and paste that right there. And the label is going to be settings. And then we're going to use the gear icon. So now if we look at it, it's got two items, home and settings here. Settings shows the settings page. Home shows the home page. So we can switch between those two. And that quickly and easily, we just created a tab view. So you can see that building an app for Vision OS is like ridiculously simple because essentially it's just traditional iOS development. You're pretty much creating an, an iPhone or iPad app that happens to work on the Vision Pro is honestly what we're doing here. And again, if we create our Z stack, and then add our text here, then bring that up a little bit along the Z axis. We can add a three dimensional depth to our layout, which would normally just be a boring two dimensional layout. So here I put on my Vision Pro and here's what it looks like when we put all of these elements together. So I have some images that are inside of a grid view, which is inside of a scroll view. And then we can scroll through these different images. We can tap them to get a description. It's just a nice sort of fluid experience. And so this is the kind of stuff you can do with Swift UI. But the thing is here, we're still just taking two dimensional elements and sort of making them stick out a little bit, which is cool, but it's not necessarily groundbreaking, right? So here's an example of using something called reality kit to render model entities, which are three dimensional meshes. And basically what you would do is you would go in a program like Blender, you would create your 3D mesh, make sure you set up your UV maps properly, then you import that into Reality Composer Pro. And then from there, you can import that into Xcode and actually render it in the app. And so what I'm doing here is I'm rendering a 3D mesh for each item and then fetching the image over the web, creating a material from that image and then applying that to the 3D asset. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, building an app for the Vision Pro is ridiculously simple to get started. Then, of course, if you want to push it to the next level and have three dimensional entities, it gets a little bit trickier from there because of the pipeline, the workflow. It's a little more complicated, but nonetheless, you can achieve some pretty cool results uh, either way. So if you like the video, please like, subscribe, support a little YouTuber like myself. And thank you for watching.